Let me show you a service that can let you create demos for your site that actually convert and guides that are actually helpful. So let me show you Fable right now. Welcome everyone. I want to show you how amazingly easy it is to use Fable. We can create interactive demos to showcase our service and in return, have a better conversion rate by closing those sales. People are going to know what your service can do or embed interactive guides in help centers to reduce your support tickets. Now, let me show you a demo down here. Take, for example, here in Fable, if a marketing team wants to know how this works, we can view this interactive demo that Fable created to show how a guide can be created and viewed for a Google Calendar example. Check this out. If a marketing team wants to know how this works, they can just check it out here with a quick demo of how Calendar works, for example, and it'll take you step by step to these sections. Be aware that these are not screenshots. This is the HTML, so everything feels really comfortable and fine and realistic and all of this can be customizable in Fable. Don't be discouraged. It's super easy to use. Or how about creating guides? Take out, take for example, Cloudflare. I mean, their guide really, really sucks. It's a bunch of images, random text, etc. And I hate how, for example, these knowledge bases jump from point A to point D and you're like, what the hell happened to point B and C? So I mean, show me then that doesn't happen in this case. For example, the knowledge base in Fable includes Fable inside and you can see how, for example, editing text annotation messages work. I can start the guide right here and it's going to help me understand exactly how to use it step by step with using Fable. Now, in terms of marketing and sales, this is also a great option because you can capture leads using Fable. So consider this one. Now, enough talk about that. Let me show you how easy it is to actually implement this on your SaaS. Take, for example, my SaaS. This is a link shortening SaaS that I have. And take, for example, that I want to show someone how to log in and shorten the link. OK, so let's go ahead and fire up Fable, which I've already installed the browser extension here, and I'm going to start recording. So in this case, it just started and I'm going to go log in. I am going to type in my username. I'm going to type in my password. I'm going to take this on just in case the privacy notice notice or something that you really need to uh, take on. And then I'm going to log in. And once I log in, I am going to add my link right here, et cetera. Then I'm going to go to advanced options and I'm going to add my custom domain. So, well, custom short link, right? And I am going to shorten. In this case, I got an invalid URL because that's not possible. But let's just say that we're done. We're going to tick this on from Fable. And now Fable is going to do its job. It's going to get all the information that it's going to need with HTML embedded inside of it. That means that everything's going to be like interactive. It's not a screenshot, which is what really I love about Fable. First off, we're going to create a new inter interactive demo. I'm going to name this demo for video. Let's hit next. I'm going to select the annotation box. Be aware that all this can be customized later on. I'm going to use this one. And then it's asking me if I want like rough corners or rounded off corners. So I'm going to use this one and let's create the interactive demo. OK, so here we go. It's going to fire up this demo. Well, that was pretty quick. OK, so here we go. This is a demo test. Be aware that all these steps can be edited and we can add more steps if needed. And we can also edit the steps. So here we go. I'm going to get started. I'm going to go next. So I need to log in. I'm going to add my username, a password. I need to check that off and I can go ahead and click next and it'll do it for me. I'll go next. OK, I'll add my link. So this is just give me an example of what needs to happen. OK, advanced settings, custom domain, shorten. And we're good to go. And the call to action, book a demo. All right. So, yeah, it looks fine. Let's go ahead and edit this demo. Now, let's go ahead and edit all the details for the descriptions. So here's the first box I'm going to click on it. There we go. It's loading it up. Here's the first card that we have. Here's step one. So we're going to say go to login. It's going to be updated. Here we go. That description. I can also record or upload a video from here. We can also use this as a lead form where we can add fields like the name, the email, etc., and use this for marketing purposes. So in this case, we can actually ask for the lead before they start the guide. In this case, it's great for nurturing our leads. The branding, like I mentioned before, you can go ahead and customize the look of the card even later on or individually each one of these elements. So it's pretty cool, right? Primary color, font color, etc. The call to actions right now we got the next button so we can go ahead and hide the button if we we don't want to do that but it is possible we also can add a call to action from here which i'm not going to do the effects you can change the effect right here if you like for example it has the option for clarity to blur out the rest and keep that one clean material design cyber 
Punk. The annotations, sizing position. In this case, it's already auto, but we can make this custom. So in case it's in the way of something that you don't want it to be, you can go ahead and put it in different sections of that square that, that's selected, right? And the box, we're going to keep it small. The hotspot, you can hide annotations, nested elements, and you got the advanced options right here. Now we have the option for the entry point, which is really important that we select it into the first card of our demo or guide. This way it knows where the demo needs to start. If you don't have this selected, it might cause an error in the future. So don't forget to select the first entry point and the overlay option. Now, one of the cool features that Fable has is that you can edit elements in the screen. For example, I can make the screen responsive. In this case, so for example, if this is changed later on, it could say, for example, I don't know, sales. Or maybe if it's the calendar example that I showed you in a bit, maybe it's not 2024, maybe it's now 2025. So you can go ahead and update it from here with the responsive screen without having to go ahead and re-record the whole thing. So it's pretty cool. You also have the option to blur out data, for example, sensitive data like emails, analytics, money, passwords, etc. You can do it with this option or you can go ahead and remove it in case you don't want to blur out. In this case, I don't want to blur out anything. And there's a lot of settings that we can work with this, okay? So that is step one. I can go ahead and jump into step two and obviously customize it in the section. This one is the username. So I'll just say username. I wouldn't be so big, but in this case, it's just a demo for testing, okay? So first of all, let's go ahead and preview this, what we just edited, remember? It's now positioned in the bottom. This has changed to sales. And check out how cool this is. Like I said, this is an interactive demo. I can scroll and this is the actual HTML on the page, but it gives me that sensation that it's realistic. It's not a screenshot, okay? So let's go next. It's gonna say the username, okay? Let's go next, next. The little bar there, the remember me, the login, etc. Okay, it's working fine. Let's go edit the demo. And what, let's go ahead and check this out. If you need to add a new screen to this demo, I can choose from one of the screens here and do something with it from here or upload an image. These are going to be added into the demo. So in this case, let me go ahead and close it. These are going to be added to the demo. So in case you want to add a new cover annotation, it's going to be added right here. Be aware that it's not connected right now. This is independent and I'll leave it in for a little testing purpose right now. Okay. So you can see that it's connected and I can connect one with another from here. So I can edit this step, add annotation cards from here and connect it in between here. So that's really useful when you're updating, you're making changes, etc. your SAS changes. Well, you can go ahead and update it with this option. Okay. Next we have is design your loader. So when you load, this is the little icon that it has by default. We can upload our own from an upload or a link and upload a GIF or Lottie from here. So you can customize it in that way. And you also have the option to create modules. Think of this as an index or a table of contents in a book. Great for featuring different kinds of features, products, etc. on this feature. So let me show you an example. For module name, I'll say start. Start login. Module description, I'll leave it as it is and connect it to the first. Oh, that I'll connect it to this one. So here's it's going to start this, okay? And I can add another module here. I'll just say two for testing purposes. And it's going to be connected to the first one, okay? And then we have the call to action. If I want to create one, book a demo, I'll keep it just like that, all right? So here we go. Let's go ahead and preview those changes. There we go. It's been added and see how this is added. If I go to number two, it'll take me to that other section and I can start a whole different section for a different type of guide if I like or different type of demo. For example, if you have a sales demo, a CRM, an email marketing system, and you want to show different ones, that is possible here. I'll use the start login and here we go. All right, let's go go back into edit. Let me go ahead and remove this. There we go and remove it for now. And we're back to our previous editing. OK, now what else can we do with this? Aside from moving them around, interconnecting them, if we have something that we don't need, for example, if we made a click by mistake somewhere else and it's considering it of it's considering it a card, we can go ahead and delete the annotation and then connect it to the next point if that is needed. All right. Now, once you like it, you go ahead and preview it. We have the option to publish it. We're ready to go. We have two options, which is one of them is embed in a landing page. That means that I can embed this anywhere that it allows me to add an iframe. It could be Notion, a website, 
or wigs, etc. using it with this code. And the second option that we have is open this demo in a new tab. So just like you saw the preview, it's going to open the demo. It's going to show you how it works just by sharing this link. Go ahead and jump to it and it's going to take you to the demo. There's extra settings here where we can add our brand logo, the link that it's going to go if they click on the logo, the demo title, call to action, the call to action link, choose background theme, more advanced options here, header background, background color, etc. And once you tweak this, go ahead and share it and you're good to go. That's how easy it is to create interactive demos and guides in Fable. Now, once you start running these, you want to know what's going on. And that's where the analytics part comes in. Now, to view analytics, go to your main dashboard and select the analytics that you want to check out. In this case, I'm going to check this one out that I created previously. I'm going to go to analytics and we're going to be able to view the analytics from here. Now we can view the total sessions, unique visitors, and you can see there's five unique visitors and six total sessions. That means someone came back and that's why there's six total sessions. Leads captured. So once you start grabbing leads from your guides that you've created with lead forms, we can view the, we can view the lead captured here, the conversions, the median session time, count of sessions per day for past one month, the funnel drop off. So you can view here what's going on. Maybe something is missing in your guide. Maybe people just find out at the, at the middle of the guide, etc. And this helps you understand it. Here's the funnel drop off. Start now login and the lead activity. So once you start grabbing these leads, we're going to be able to view the emails and the activity from here. And if you want to integrate your leads with something else to send it to your email marketing service, etc., go to integrations and we're able to integrate from here. You got options like Outreach, Slack, MailChimp, Salesforce, HubSpot, PyDrive and Webhooks, which Webhooks practically lets you connect with anything out there, right? But that is Fable. I hope you liked this video and you found out how good Fable actually is because it's so straightforward to use. It's really powerful and it's going to help you grow your sales and reduce your support tickets with these guides. But there you go. If you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap.